Welcome to another video. This is Joe Is from Super Crystal Finder, and in today's video, I like to talk about the WordPress plugin organizer, which is a very handy tool. For instance, if you're having conflicting CSS or JavaScript on the main page, that makes your page, you know, doesn't work. Certain JS doesn't work, or the template might uh, be not uh, showing as intended you know they have conflicting CSS conflicting JS so to fix this issue you can download this plugin it's called um, the plugin organizer okay you can visit the site site for more details we're providing you in the link you can check out the site this is the author by the way of the plugin organizer okay it has five stars rating at the WordPress community page okay feel free to visit that site let's get started right here uh, to install this plugin all you have to do is click on add new at the plugins page of your WordPress admin go ahead and search plugin organizer Okay, then all you have to do is just install. I have installed it right here, and I'm gonna show you how to use it uh, in your WordPress site. Okay, all you have to do after installation, click on Plugin Organizer. You can visit the Settings page. Here is the page where you can actually set up your plugins when you want to use mobile or not. I'm just gonna turn it off right now because most of the site has responsive capabilities. Okay, and then click on global plugins. This is the page where you set up everything. So in our case here, I'm going to turn off Super Store Finder for WordPress. Okay, you just turn it off globally, so it won't load on any other page um, that you do specify. It, you know, so as a global settings. The super store finder for WordPress plugin won't be loaded anywhere else. So you turn it off. And then you want to go to search plugins. Search plugins is basically, as you read under the description right here, it says uh, on the results page, you want the plugin to be turned on or not. So I'll turn it off as well because it's not necessarily. I want to show my plugin at the search page. Okay, I just want to show the store locator at a particular page or post. So I'm just gonna turn off, turn it off at a plugins page at the plugins page. Next, you go to post tab plugins. It's, this is where you set globally. Okay, as a general, you want to turn it on, or you want to turn it off. So I'm turning it on basically because I want to show it at uh, all the pages and all the posts because maybe I want to show store locator at all my posts or all the pages. It depends. So I can t basically turn on and off. Um, make sure to press on save. So same with the global uh, plugin settings just now. Be sure if you have made any changes, you can't just click on it. You just have to click on it and also click on save. Yes, that will be reflected. So uh, that's how simple it is. You basically on and off and press save. So if you want to drill down further to specific posts, okay, you want to turn it on. Okay, I'm just going to turn on this one, right? Uh, let's go to the page that I have my store finder up. I'm just gonna go to pages, search for find a store. This is the page that I've <coughs> set up my store locator. Let's take a look at it. Okay, click on edit. If you scroll down, you can notice that there's a plugin organizer column here. Settings for this post have been overridden by the post type settings. So you can edit them by going here. 
Okay. The one that you've set up just now. Now also, you can also override them by clicking the checkbox. Because basically, you can override it by clicking on the checkbox here. So you can control each post or each page uh, settings, which uh, plugins that you want to load. Now, an interesting, interesting feature of this um, plugin organizer is the group and audio plugins. Okay, this is where you prioritize your plugin or CSS call. Which one you want to load first? Which one you want to load a leader? You know, it's like some JS might have conflict conflict with, with the other JS JS. So you want to load, for example, you want to load stall finder first. So you just drag it up, and that's it. Press submit. Uh, you can drag it anywhere on the uh, arrangement right here. Sir. So after you press submit, it will save. Then alternatively, you can add filter groups. So I have added my filter groups right here, and you can also set plugin filters. These are additional filters uh, settings that you can set up. You can look it up at the developer's website. It's a pretty interesting plugin to check it out, guys. Especially if you're having issues with um, your stall locator uh, having conflict with your website. You know, sometimes this uh, new sticker here won't work because the JS might have conflict. So you want to turn it off at a specific page. You know, it's all up to you. I mean, you have the full control of the plugins with using this uh, plugin organizer plugin. It's a pretty handy tool. Um, I would recommend it. Um, and if you have any questions, you can just hit me up, drop a comment, and I'll answer them as best as I can. Thanks for watching. Cheers.